everybody I'm Rachel from Rachel Cooks with Love in this video I'm gonna show you how I brine and roast a whole chicken it's an easy and delicious process so let's get started so I've got everything ready here to prepare my brine now a brine is a method of tenderizing meat like maybe chicken or turkey and you know how sometimes you go to the grocery store and you buy yourself a rotisserie chicken and you're like well, I wonder how they get it to be so tender and just so tasty. Yet you prepare your chicken at home and it comes out dry or it just doesn't seem to have the taste. It's because of the brining. So the brining breaks down the muscle and then it lets all the juices in. You know, like all the ingredients that we're going to put together in this brine. So I think that's the secret. That's what makes a fantastic, tender, very flavorful chicken. And that's what I'm going to do. So I've got a bowl here, so I'm going to put in half a cup of the kosher salt. See, this is the kosher salt. So I've got half a cup. Then I'm going to put in half a cup of honey. If you don't have honey or you don't like honey, you can use brown sugar. I like the taste of the honey. So I have half a cup of honey in here. Now I'm going to put in one teaspoon of onion powder. And I'm going to do the same amount of garlic powder. It's going to be one teaspoon. Then I'm going to do one tablespoon of whole peppercorns. Or you can use crushed pepper. Then I'm gonna put in three bay leaves. There's two and three. I've got three little sprigs of thyme right here. You put those in there. And three of rosemary. And then I have a few pieces in, in there, like that. I'm just gonna mix these together. Ooh, they already smell wonderful. This is going to give you the best roasted chicken. The taste is going to be delicious. So I'm going to add a few slices of a whole lemon. That's good. All these things are going to go over here. Now I've got... 10 cups of water in here that are already boiling. I'm gonna set it on medium, and I'm gonna put all this in here. This is gonna be like one of those rotisserie chickens that you buy at the grocery store, except this is gonna be better because it's homemade. See, I'm just stirring it around like that. Make sure that it all comes together. I'm also going to add just a little sprig of parsley, a fresh parsley, right here. See? Just like this. I'm going to add it in there. So I'm just going to stir it around like this and let it sit there on simmer for about five minutes until the salt dissolves. So it's been about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it off the heat and I'm gonna let it sit right here. Look at how beautiful that looks. Ooh, with the lemon and the peppercorns. I'm just gonna let it sit there until it totally cools down. It has to be totally cool before I put my chicken into it. So I'll be back. So my brine is totally, totally cool. It's been about three hours only because I got busy doing something else, but it is totally cool and that's how you want it to be. So I've got a big bowl here and I've got my chicken here. Now, you know, um, 
I don't usually buy organic products, you know, unless it's this or that. But when it comes to a, a chicken, a whole chicken, I always make sure that it's organic. I don't want any hormones in it or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put my chicken in here, just like that. And now I'm going to pour my brine on top of it. And look at that. You see? Everything inside has released its flavor. See the lemons and the peppercorns, the onions, just like that. See, and what you want to do is make sure that your chicken is totally submerged. And if it happens to float like it does sometimes, if it floats, you can just get something as heavy as I had one of my heavy lids. I was prepared to put it on top. But this one is totally submerged. But if, it, if you notice that it floats, you can get something heavy like this and just put it on top like that and just let it push it down. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to leave it there. And then you want to cover it up. And this is going to give you the most tender, juiciest, chicken and it's going to have that fantastic taste all the way inside of everything that we put into the brine. So I'm going to cover it up like this and since it doesn't fit in this refrigerator I'm going to go put it out in the refrigerator that we have in the garage and I'm going to leave it there all night and then tomorrow about noon time or so I'm going to get it ready to roast and then I'll get back with you. Hi everybody, so today's the next day. I just went over to the garage to go get my chicken that has been sitting in the brine all night. And here it is. See? So I've got a colander here. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna rinse it out really, really good under cold water. The salt has already broken down the muscle and it has just taken everything in that we put into our brine and it smells wonderful. So I have rinsed it out really, really good now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it sit here for just a little bit and let it drain really, really well and then I'm going to dry it up with paper towel. So I've let the chicken just drip dry really well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dry it up really good with some paper towels. If it's very wet, you know, you just can't rub the butter as, as good all the way around. So I'm going to make sure that it's real nice and dry. Now that I've gotten it real nice and dry like this, I'm going to go ahead and just get the skin off the chicken like this. Just put my fingers in there like that and just separate that skin. And you can go in here into the legs. Because I'll be, you know, pushing some butter into these areas here so you want to make sure that the skin comes apart from the chicken like this see you would do the same thing with a turkey if you were going to be fixing a turkey I would be doing the same thing so once you get it all nice and dry like that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie up the little legs together like this that'll give you a very even roasting instead of just leaving it open. Now you can leave it open like that 
if you're gonna fill it with maybe some lemons and herbs and things but I'm not going to since I brined it and I'm just gonna go ahead and tie the legs together like this so I've got some of this butcher's twine and I'm just gonna get a piece like this and I'm gonna bring it underneath it like that very simple little process you want to make sure that they're relaxed like that and then just you know just twist it up here at the top like this and then go underneath this and underneath right here and then just pull it together like this see pull it together like that then I'm just gonna tie it up And this way you'll get real even roasting. See? So now that the skin is apart from the chicken like that, you know, I'll be able to season it really well. Now I'm going to prepare my seasoning. So we've got the chicken tied up. I've got a bowl here. So now into my bowl, I'm gonna put in two teaspoons of smoked paprika. That just gives it a fantastic taste. And then I've got one teaspoon and a half of onion powder, one teaspoon and a half of garlic powder. Then I've got half a teaspoon of sage. I like the, the taste that it gives it. Then I've got some pepper. I'm gonna put some pepper in there and a little bit of salt. Just mix it up real good like this. So I'm gonna set a little bit apart. Just a little bit like that. Set this apart. And I've got some butter here. I'm gonna get about six tablespoons of butter into this seasoning. Then I'm gonna mix it up real good with a, with a seasoning. This is gonna be my rub. See? And that's good. Now we're gonna get a little bit dirty here. Now I'm gonna rub it all over my chicken. See? So I'm gonna get some inside, also like this. Okay, take it inside, right to where the legs are over the legs like this inside, tuck it in. Now I'm gonna rub it outside. See? When you tie up the chicken legs, you know, you will get real even roasting. So you wanna make sure to Tie them up really good like that so that it'll roast evenly, real nice. And you can turn it around and add some all the way around. Okay, get some in there. So now that I've rubbed it on really well like that, I'm gonna get a little bit more of this extra seasoning that I laid aside. And then I like to just sprinkle a little bit on top of it like this. delicious seasoning just like that then I'll get the wings and I'm gonna tuck them in underneath like this see and it's ready so I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'm gonna put it in my cast iron skillet so I've got all the delicious butter off of my hands now and I have a cast iron skillet that's what I'm gonna be using today and I've got a little rack 
And I'm going to put this rack inside like that, just so that it doesn't touch the bottom. So then I'll bring my chicken over like this, put it into my pan like that. And I'm going to put a little bit of water at the bottom. Just a little bit, I would say. Enough just to cover the bottom like that. Now that I've got it all nice tucked in, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle a little bit more pepper on top. I really like the pepper on it. On the chicken just like that that's it now I've got a piece of aluminum foil I'm gonna go ahead and cover the top because I don't want the top to burn before the chicken is totally roasted so towards the very end I'll remove the piece of aluminum foil so that it can be nice and crispy from the outside so I've got my oven preheated at 400 degrees and then I'm gonna put it into my oven right in the center, to the very back like that. And I'm gonna set my timer for an hour and 40 minutes. I'll come back and check it in about 30 minutes. So it's been about 40 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn it around and I'll put it a different direction like this. And that's it. My timer just went off. It's been exactly an hour and 40 minutes. Ooh, it smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and check the temperature. I'm gonna go deep into the thigh Make sure that it's about 165 degrees. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect at 165 degrees, yes. Now the last 15 minutes before I took it out, I went ahead and removed the aluminum foil just so that it can get a little bit more golden from the top. And throughout the hour and 40 minutes, I basted it about four or five times, just with its own juices like this. See? That's why I put water down at the bottom and I maintain the water at the bottom of the cast iron skillet because at the same time that the water is boiling, and it's giving the chicken some steam, and it's just so perfect like that. So with its own juices, I go ahead and, and baste it like this. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit there for about 15 minutes before I carve into it. I think I'm ready to carve into it now. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go ahead and cut the thighs first. Usually you just push it down. You'll get right into the it, it should be a soft spot. Oh, 
Oh, it smells wonderful. I'll go ahead and let this cool off and I'm not going to throw the bones away because I use it to make some stock later but I'll be able to debone this and I'll make something else with this chicken from here but here it is so now I'm going to go ahead and just slice it this and if you want to you can remove the skin some people don't like the skin I don't use eat the skin and my Ron doesn't either so you can remove the skin and then just slice this into pieces or you can just do halves you know like that see and the legs usually you just Break it down, go in there. Here are the legs, see? Just like that. Oh, this is beautiful. See, there we are. You know, once you've had your own roasted chicken like this, you will never want to go buy a rotisserie chicken again, unless it's an emergency. But I always prepare for it, you know, because this is my Ron's, one of my Ron's favorite Sunday dinners. So I prepare the brine at night, put it in the refrigerator, and then the next day I just put it into roast, an hour and 40 minutes. And that's it. So now I'll serve, serve some of this chicken. Mmm, look at how good that looks. Now while my chicken was roasting, I went ahead and fixed some sides. I made some mashed potatoes. These are good sides to go with it, but you can make anything that you like. My Ron likes mashed potatoes and he loves gravy. So I made some homemade gravy also with the mashed potatoes. That. I went ahead and roasted some carrots. He loves roasted carrots. Now you can make any side that you want, but we like roasted carrots and mashed potatoes with gravy. So now for the taste test. Mmm, so juicy and so tender. You know, I can smell the rosemary and the thyme and the garlic and the lip. It's got lemon. I can actually smell it in here. It smells delicious. Mm. 
just literally falling apart. Carrots with a honey and cinnamon. See? Look at how easy that is to cut. Look at that. And real juicy. And you know, if you have leftovers and you put them in the refrigerator, tomorrow you warm it up, it's like you had just roasted it. Real juicy. It just stays in there. Now, mmm. I put the chicken in the brine last night about 8 p.m. And then we took it out at about 2 o'clock this afternoon. And it roasted for about an hour and 40 minutes. And anywhere, you want to brine it anywhere between 4 hours to 24 hours. Now mine was 18 hours. And easy to prepare and brine at night. Just put it in the refrigerator and then the next day just rinse it. You saw what I did. And then just roast it for an hour and 40 minutes, and it's totally worth it. You'll never buy another rotisserie chicken again. So this is my roasted chicken. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment. Share with your friends. And subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you. Mmm.